हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम एमसीक्यूज ऑन द टॉपिक स्ट्रेन एनर्जी एक्चुअली द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी इज अ सब टॉपिक ऑफ सिंपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड स्ट्रेन्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन The energy stored in a metal bar during its straining is known as a elastic energy, b strain energy, c tensile energy, and d kinetic energy. All of you know that whenever a load is applied to any body, it deforms. That is, strain is induced, and whatever energy is stored is known as strain energy. Hence, the correct answer is b strain energy. Question number two: When the body is stressed up to its elastic limit, the strain energy stored is known as a ultimate strain energy, b resilience, c proof resilience, and d none of the above. Actually, the strain energy stored is also known as resilience, but up to elastic limit means it is the maximum strain energy which can be stored, and it is known as proof resilience hence the correct answer of this question is c proof resilience question number 3 the proof resilience per unit volume is known as a modulus of resilience b modulus of rigidity c modulus of elasticity and d bulk modulus you know that it is the definition of modulus of resilience hence the correct answer is a modulus of resilience Question number four: The amount of strain energy stored in a body is directly proportional to a stress induced, b strain produced, c volume of a body, d all the above. Now here, you know that the expression for strain energy is sigma square into A L upon two E. now if you split sigma square as sigma into sigma you will get this expression as half into sigma into sigma upon capital e into volume the first sigma is stress second sigma upon e is strain and third is volume means the strain energy is proportional to stress strain and volume hence the correct answer of this question is d all the above question number 5 the stress induced in an elastic body due to suddenly applied load is dash 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 the stress induced when the same load is applied gradually a twice b half c equal to and d less than now here suddenly applied load and gradually applied load is compared now the stress induced in gradually applied load is p by a whereas the stress induced in due to suddenly applied load is 2 into p by a hence here the stress induced by suddenly sudden load is twice the stress induced by gradually applied load hence the correct answer of this is a twice question number 6 the deformation produced in a bar of elastic material due to gradually applied load is dash 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 the deformation produced when the same load is applied suddenly a twice b half c equal to and d greater than just like previous question as the stress induced in due to sudden load is twice the deformation due to sudden load is also twice but here see the wording the deformation due to gradually applied load is dash 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 the deformation due to suddenly uh, applied load so here it will be half hence the correct answer of this is b half question number 7 the strain energy stored in a member due to suddenly applied load is dash 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 this energy stored due to the same load applied gradually a twice b half c equal to d four times now we know that the stress induced due to sudden load is twice the stress induced due to 
gradually applied load. Now for energy it is sigma square AL upon 2E. So square of sigma. So as the stress is twice square of 2 is 4 times. Hence the energy stored due to sudden load will be 4 times the energy stored due to gradually applied load. Hence the correct answer of this question is D 4 times. Question number 8. A 400 mm long wire of cross section 20 mm square is subjected to an axial pull of 800 Newton applied suddenly. If E is 200 GPA, the elongation of wire will be A 0.16 mm, B 0.08 mm, C 1.6 mm and D 0.8 mm. Now here we know that deformation delta L is sigma into L upon E. As the load is applied suddenly sigma is 2P by A. Hence the deformation will be 2 into P into L upon A. If you put all the values you will get the answer to be 0.16 mm. Hence the correct answer is A 0.16 mm. Question number 9. A wire of uniform cross section is actually pulled by a force of 800 Newton applied gradually. If it is stretched by 0.08 mm, then the strain energy stored in the wire will be A 32 Newton meter, B 32 Newton mm, C 64 Newton meter and D 64 Joule. Now here the load is applied gradually. So whenever the load is applied gradually there is the deformation and the work done is half into P into delta L and the work done is nothing but the strain energy. So here the strain energy will be half into P into delta L. Put the value of P as 800 Newton delta L as 0 0.08 mm you will get the answer as 32 Newton mm. Therefore, the correct answer of this question is B 32 Newton mm. Question number 10. For a certain elastic material, the proof stress is 60 MPa. If E is equal to 100 GPa, the modulus of resilience will be a 0.036 Newton per mm square, B 3.6 Newton per mm square, C 0.018 Newton per mm square and D 0.18 Newton per mm square. Now modulus of resilience is proof resilience per unit volume. So modulus of resilience will be sigma p square upon 2e. So if you put the value of sigma p as 60 and e as 100 GPA means 100 into 10 raised to 3 MPA, you will get the answer as 0 0.018 Newton per mm square. Actually it is Newton mm per mm cube. So that is Newton per mm square. Hence the correct answer is C 0.018 Newton per mm square. Thank you.